International Women's Week uh, Gender Studies Extensions Workshop. For the international scene, the U.S. Army has begun its withdrawal from uh, Afghanistan. Welcome to our newsroom. The President of the Republic strongly condemned the attack of the Sudanese Prime Ministers. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, strongly condemned the bomb attack uh, to, on the Prime Ministers uh, Abdullah Hamdok, uh, the condemnations uh, by the head of state they came as part of a message of support and solidarity he sent yesterday, Monday, to the Sudanese Prime Minister. The people in government of Djibouti join me in strongly denouncing the attempted uh, murder directed against you, Mr. Prime Minister, as it's been said, the mark of uh, detraction is hostility of the experience of a stable and peaceful Sudan where the entire population lives under the emblem of unity, equity, and fraternity. President Gele wrote, under your political leadership, Sudan has uh, undeniably increased its uh, cohesion and willingness uh, to l live together of the different uh, components of its people. The head of state went on to note uh, it has uh, undeniably also embarked on uh, a genuine uh, process of breaking with the obstacles which were counterproductive to its uh, serene evolution toward progress and sustainable development. President Ismail Margheli also noted uh, reiterating the sincere experience uh, expressions of his support and uh, backings to the Sudanese uh, Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok. The Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, today led an information and awareness raising meeting on the Djiboutian School Transformation Project. The Minister was accompanied by Secretary General Mohamed Abdullah Mahyoub, as well as Inspector General of General Education, Muna Ismail Abdu, and the Executive Secretary of the Higher Education Committee, Ayan Osman Abrar. The meeting, which took place at the headquarters of MEMFO, was attended by all school principals, headmasters, but also inspectors and ped pedagogical advisors of at all levels and other education in the capital and interior regions. In a war of introduction, the minister stressed the interest of this project of transformation of Jerusalem schools whose design, preparations and development took too long years to impress all aspects and part of the he recalled that all uh, the school's stakeholders and partners took part in the development of this project, uh, which meets uh, all the conditions for successful implementation. The minister praised the leadership and commitment of the school's head of state. Head was not uh, during the file assessment. The Secretary General Mohammed Abdullah Mahyoub then sweep up the national and expectations surrounding this project, which must uh, enhance human capital by improving the skills of future workers and thus support the country's development efforts. The Minister of Women and Families continued the National Women's Week and this morning's organized a workshop on gender studies popularization at the People's Palace. This workshop chaired by the Minister of Women and Family, Mumina Ahmed Hassan, the Secretary General of the Ministry of Women, Ms. Anissa Hassan Bahdun, the Director of uh, Observatory and Genders of the Minister Women, Ms. Shukri Hussein Jibaha, the UNDP representative in Djibouti, Fatima El Sheikh, the UNICEF representative in Djibouti, Melba Johnson, the Deputy Assistant of United Nations in Djibouti. The meeting was attended by all the gender focal points of the various sectoral ministries, local authorities, and associations. The studies of change in the situations of women in Djibouti between 2000 and 2018, the studies on the representativeness of uh, women in the public service and child protection is expert from uh, the Minister of Women and Family and Demographers, the ENSD, present the, these uh, two studies. The discussion were frank and fruitful. Participants were pleased with the various uh, presentations that included supporting figures, the workshop, and with a good atmosphere and the promise of working together to achieve their objectives. 
For her part, the Ministry of Women and Family, Mumina Ahmed Hassan, has indicated the importance of the study on changes in the situations of women in Djibouti. Listen to her. We are gathered in this room today to present a series of working survey studies carried out by the Ministry of Women and the Family in partnership with various partners in the United Nations system. These studies, which were presented today, will be presented to you by the Ministry of Women and the Family, a series of work carried out during the year 2019. And if I'm not mistaken, it is this study. This study investigates information gathered in the Ville. It is a study on women in diplomacy, a study on women in uniform, a study on women's access to microcredit, a study on women in the public service, a study on the situation of women from 2020 to 2018 a study on violence against women and girls. The commitments that the Republic of Djibouti has made at the international level, such as Beijing, as you know, we are celebrating 25 years of Beijing. We have tried to see these commitments that we have made it at the international level, where we together, that we have a national policy of this kind. So why all this work? This is a question that must be asked, because we felt it was necessary within the Ministry of Women and the Family to take a snapshot of these commitments that we have made at the national and international levels where we are. The aim is also to be able, once all this work has been done, to see what the shortcomings are so that we can take action to complete, improve, in order to achieve the objectives we have set. It is a tedious work that has lasted a whole year. I hope that you will learn a lot. I hope that you will contribute to it. And we are counting on you, as I say and I repeat, to be able, of course, to take part in this workshop, to see what the government has done, make your contribution to this work done, but above all, be our allies to the population and within the country. Within the framework of our cooperation agreement on the annual work plan 2020-2021 of the Ministry of Social Affairs Solidarity with UNICEF, Memorandum of Partnership Agreement for Cooperation 2020-2021 between the Ministry of Social Affairs and UNICEF was held this afternoon in the cabinet of the ministry said the signing of agreement is part of our operationalizations of the national social protection strategy in her speech the representative emphasized the important uh, work of social workers in terms of uh, caring for vulnerable families as well as the production of evidence after thanking the representative of unicef the mission emphasized the strengthening of the capacity of local social workers working in social offices, the technical support of, to the Ministerial Department of Social Affairs, uh, the improvement of the quality of social services. She also spoke about uh, crisis management and the analysis of social protection budgeting. So those in attendance at the ceremony were the Minister of Social Affairs Solidarity, Ms. Mona Osman Aden, the resident representative of UNICEF, uh, Melba Johnson, the Secretary General of the Ministry, Fra Ali Ahmed, the Program Officers and Social Protectionists uh, Acting, Karin, and the Technical Advisor of uh, Minister, Mr. Jibah Benwa, Habib. For her part, the Minister of Social Affairs Solidarity, Mona Osman Aden, emphasized the important work of social workers uh, in terms of caring for vulnerable families. Uh, listen to this report. La synergie entre nos actions uh, ont toujours montré vraiment des résultats assez palpables et, et concrets. The collaboration and synergy between our actions have also shown real and tangible results. This annual work plan of 2020 to 2021 is a part of continuity and also response to areas or actions of the National Social Protection Strategy. It goes in a direction to accompany the Ministry to further improve its activities, particularly in terms of the capacities carried out through all the work provided by social workers. Also, it is a part of a dynamic of being able to develop all the actions or practices that we must put in place or give to our populations in order to have the best social practices and really face difficult living conditions. For us, this action plan reflects a low trajectory or an orientation that encourages us to go in the same direction and to go beyond the limits that have been set. Social protection is an issue that is quite broad quite complex and needs to be constantly reviewed, or it can be better ornated. And in particular, the question of how to achieve a good social protection system in terms of financing or in terms of capacity or a useful mechanism. 
In recent years, the Ali Sebeh region has experienced a revival of economic activity, which has naturally led to the expansions of the city, with construction sites appearing regularly at the entrance and exit of the capital. The building sector is booming. Listen to this magazine. Ali Sebeh region has seen a revival of economic activity in recent years, which has naturally led to the expansion of the city. At the entrance and exit of the capital city, building sites appear regularly. Moreover, with the demographic growth, these new building sites are becoming increasingly important. The owners are civil servants, shoekeepers, or members of the diaspora from this region, many of whom live in the area. And for the West, it is a question of preserving the emotional ties of the region where they were born. To balance and give a chance to those who do not have much means, the government, through the Ministry of Housing, has built the first phase of the first apartments in the city. It is under the aegis of the Minister of Housing, Mrs. Amina Abdi Adan, that the ceremony to hand over the keys to the 30 selected families took place in May 2018. During this ceremony, Amina Abdi Adan said that these buildings were built by companies in the region. She recalled that these achievements followed the claims of the Asajoks, complaints to which the President of the Republic responded with this social housing the first in the interior regions, said the minister. Today, the recipient families enjoy these F3 apartments, a program that the President of the Republic has made a national priority to facilitate for every citizen the access to decent housing that makes the occupants happy. I'm a young man from Ali Sebeh, and I'm recently married. I'm one of the beneficiaries of this social housing we didn't have this type of housing and the president to think of us, the newlyweds. We are very grateful to our president. We thank the president of the republic for this accommodation. For 30 years, I lived in a rental house, and it was very, very difficult because of the rents that kept increasing. Today, we are grateful to God and wish the president a long life. According to the Ministry of Housing, in order to cope with the deficit in this sector, the country will set up a housing bank. Objective, to ensure access to home ownership for all. Alisabeh region has uh, multifaceted resources, first and foremost, agriculture, but also above all human resources, Alisabeh is bursting at the seam with evidence of the growing numbers of youth entrepreneurship. Here is a magazine from the editorial staffs of young Asajog entrepreneurs, uh, an example for our other regions. You know, young people from the Asibis region have decided to make a difference and take, the, take their future into their own hands. Uh, their objective is to develop their regions by creating and innovating through small businesses. Uh, Fathia Idli is among these young people who has ventured into the manufacturers of color fabric, uh, market gardening, and the productions of hard soap for clothes and body. Today, she is a model of courage and entrepreneurial daring in her region. The Halgan company that she created only a few years ago has imposed her brand among the Asa jokes. It is in Asamo that all her products are manufactured. For the shop, Fathia has trained 25 uh, women and currently employs eight of them, young people from the locality who over the years have acquired a know-how in the artisanal manufacturers of hard soap, but also in the coloring and printings of fabric patterns uh, to sell its product, Halgan, has a point of sale in the capital of the region. If force recognized and rewarded by the grand prize of the head of state on the occasions of International Women's Day on March 8, 2019, proud for the Asajog region and more determinations for Fathia Idli, which invested its hour to modernize its activities. <laughs> In With God's help, uh, I hope uh, to use uh, machines for dyeing uh, fabrics and making soap, uh, machines that produce natural soaps, and I have already found the place for that. Truth is, the prizes received helped me a lot. I have ordered equipment from China to improve my productions and automate the line. 
like Fatih, a lot of people have undertaken this project thanks to the incentives put in place by the government. Mothers have created their own income generating activity, and Ali Sabih is also starting to make a name for health. Herself with her team, Amina Saeed is one of the producers of for the cooperative with other women from Asamo. She makes gems made from orange and uh, guava, hundred uh, hundred percent of natural raw material. Amina Saeed is one of the producers of the cooperative uh, with other from Asamo. She makes gems from the hundred percent of raw materials. Uh, The cooperative uh, with the surplus, uh, she and the members of her cooperative are thinking and expanding their workshop. <laughs> the sale of the gems covered a lot of my needs. Among those needs, I ensure those of the children. There are also shares for the member of the cooperative with some of the money earned. I buy school supplies. There is always a shortage somewhere and we feel it this way. Jeep Canapé is the story of graduating industrial computer of science uh, who put his diploma aside to devote himself uh, to his patient wood processing. Abdul Wahab Hassan 27 years old, set up his business less uh, than two years ago. On his return from the Senegal in Al Sabih, he quickly made a reputation for his know how, and today he makes his uh, catboard sofa and transforms his tires, uh, his know how, and today he makes his catboard sofa and transforms. Uh, He currently uses the social networks to show his creation. He explains the sofa models he makes. <laughs> I learned how to make European style sofa, which look like uh, this and are rarely made in jewelry. Often it, it is, is the Somali and Arab style that is called the much larger Moroccan salon. The model I yeah, make is a lot of uh, a little more difficult reason why we see few of them initiative that contribute to job creations and development of the region and deserve to be supported uh, and encouraged that is why the prefectures and the regional councils support <laughs> <this> <laughs> young people by finding new uh, outlets for the product on the spot the As part of a vast uh, biometric uh, registration operation for persons with disability in Djibouti organized by the National Agency for Persons with Disability in partnership with the Minister of Health, the caravan of the operation of biometric registrations of persons with disability began yesterday in the prefecture of Atta. For these programs of biometric registration, the director of the Agency of Disabled Persons, Dual Saeed Mahmoud, went to Arta and with the participation of the Prefect of Arta, Mohammed Sheikh Hassan, and the President of the Regional Council, this program has started in good progress and disabled people came in mass. The objective of biometric uh, registration is, is to update the socio-demographic data of disabled persons and also the medical data of disabled persons, which will identify the situations of person. For his part, the director of agency of disabled persons, Duale Saeed Mahamud, has uh, explained the objective of biometric registration is, is to update socio-demographic data of uh, person with the disabled and also the medical data of a disabled person which will identify the situations of birth. A trophy award ceremony is uh, organized under the auspices of the Saudi ambassador to Djibouti, His Excellency Abdul Aziz bin Abdullah al Madar, for the inter school uh, competition between Arab school was held yesterday in the Saudi school in Djibouti. The competition called the ambassador's competition initiated for Arab students who study in languages uh, brought together several schools. Uh, a war ceremony also took place uh, for the memorizations of the 30 chapters of Holy Quran for girls and boys. Uh, the cultural festival presented different cultural uh, food and several, uh, namely Djibouti, Saudi Arabia, Yemen and Egypt. Uh, ceremony was uh, rich in color and several cultural dances were present, uh, including Djiboutian, Yemeni, and Egyptian. 
the first winners of the inter school competitions was the Saudi school and the second was uh, the Saudi Islamic Institute. The various winners and organizers of uh, the, this beautiful ceremony were awarded the uh, gift uh, like mobile phone by the hand of the Saudi ambassador. Also in the context of a fight against uh, public insanity, the national police took part uh, this morning in a large scale cleanup operation. It was in the early hours of the morning that all elements of the national police were deployed in several major arteries of the capital equipped with the shovel and picks and rakes. Uh, the national police were deployed to Nassau and uh, Avenue Vence. 26 uh, to clean up uh, collect garbage and other rubbish uh, through these uh, clean up uh, actions. Uh, the aim is to raise awareness among the population in order to take over the task of keeping our city clean and healthy. To do this, uh, the men of the national police have uh, no power in EFO because well-being and clean lines remains everyone's business. Uh, several Major throw fires have been cleaned up, uh, rubbish has been collected, and this cleaning operation is undertaken by the men of police forces are the result of a governmental will to fight against public insalubrity. For the international scene, the United States announced Monday that it has begun yesterday the partial withdrawal of U.S. troops under the agreement signed with the Taliban on February 29. Listen to this report. The US Army has begun withdrawing from two bases in Afghanistan. The first step in the agreement signed in Doha between the United States and the insurgents, while Kapul was to decide Tuesday on a prisoner exchange with the rebels. The bases are located in Lashkar, the capital of Helmand province, south, largely under insurgent control, and in Herat province, west. The American official told AFP on conditions of anonymity. According to the text of the agreement, the number of U.S. soldiers in this area is expected to increase from 12,000 or 13,000 to 8,600 by mid-July. Five of the more than 20 U.S. bases in the country are to be evacuated. The U.S. forces retain all the means to achieve their objectives. However, said Monday, Colonel Sonny Lejet, spokesman for U.S. forces in Afghanistan. This is it for the news. Thanks uh, for watching us.